Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number three, number three, three. of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher, no, is it Butcher? Butcher Shop Television. I thought it was BS TV. Okay, I was going to say BS TV, but okay. do, you, do you officially allow that? BS, BS TV. Yeah. We today, encourage the BS. Today is Wednesday, April 5th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, everyone's favorite meat influencer, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, nice to see you. Eric, great to you see came you. came back. This I is did. number three. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is what Thanks my, my third audition interview. Right. If we do like 49 of these, I might get used to this. Uh, we've got potentials out there too. Well, Just let's, so let's get them here. Let's okay. get them here. Um, my shirt okay? It's new. Looks great. New, new shirt. Yeah, another tiny one. Nice. I like yeah, it. Yeah. I like Hair it. okay? Sure. Then let's do this. Uh, we did talk a little bit, you and I, about facing more into the camera. So sure. you, you look at the camera and I'll try to look at the camera. Okay. And we'll see how spooky that makes it. Right. So this week, we're going to talk about weekly specials. We're going to do another thing on holiday hams and lambs. We'll hit, we have a local product of the week. Uh, special days that are coming up and a winner of last week's contest, but an amazing, an amazing new contest. So let us dive right in. Before we dive right in, however, you know there's a live chat going on while we're streaming on YouTube. Okay. And we can't really see it, so we don't pay a lot of attention to it, but I see it after the fact. And uh, people uh, seem to like the show. And a lot of these people, their last name is Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> so is this a family reunion? It could be. I'm going to read the comment by Pamela Barnes. This is from last week, but we did no see relation. it. No relation. Great polka music. Who is this? This is this name here. Uh, that is Trudy Jacobs. Any relation? That's my favorite mother. Your favorite mother? Yes. What, what, is, what was her comment? Uh, what the heck is Arctic char and how do you fix it? Couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> Lynn Dale said Happy Easter. Scott Voigt said Enjoying the Show. Uh, there's another one from... Trudy Jacobs again. Your mom again. Wow. Okay. Uh, and that's a good comment. You hams are doing great. I, I wonder, is she talking about us? You know her better than I do. Uh, she might be. She might be. Uh, there's another Jacobs here, but this is Robert. Oh, Robert, that's my favorite brother. Your favorite brother? Yes. What does Robert have to say? Uh, congrats on another successful show, gentlemen. Well, he must not know us very well. <laughs> gentlemen. He must be talking about you. Uh, you oh. guys are awesome together. Awesome together. Yeah, we hear that a lot. Uh, Appleton Magazine, I may have mentioned that last week. You did? I said it was going to hit the presses, it was going to be here any day. It's here. It, it arrived the very day. Yes. There are only 12 copies left. They're free of charge. Free. You should rush here. You'll still sign them, right? Oh, definitely, Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, Absolutely, as yes. I hear. Thank you. For anyone who doesn't know, where are we? We are at Jacob's Meat Market. Oh, talk to the camera. In, App <laughs> in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, little old Appleton. Is there an address? Uh, 544 North Law Street, and on the corner of Law and Pacific. Law and Pacific. North Law, East Pacific. East Pacific. This is a meat market, uh, but also kind of a little grocer. Yes, definitely. You, you sell more than meat. We do. And you've been doing it for a, a couple of a couple of years. Uh, Jacobs has been in business since 1945, so 77 years. 77 years, and you've been running it the whole time. Very close. Very close to the whole time. Right. Uh, and generally speaking, your hours are uh, Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6. Correct. But it's a special week. It is Easter week. It's Easter week. Correct. And so you've got to change for this Saturday only. Correct. So Monday through Saturday this week, we're open 8 to f eight Monday to 6. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, 8 to 6. Saturday, we're open 8 to 4. And you're closed every Sunday. Closed so. every Sunday. And then on Monday, Easter Monday, we're open noon to 6. Usually, you'd open on a Monday at 8. Correct. But this is the day after a holiday, so Always you sleep noon. in yes. a little bit, don't yes, you? Yes, of course. <laughs> and now we want to talk about... Get tired of, uh, you know, hiding those Easter baskets. Do you hide the baskets? The whole basket? Of course. I, I usually just hide the eggs. Well, you can do it your way you and I'll do, do it your... mine. How about that? <laughs> I was going to ask you to tell me a joke, but that might have been it. No, that was not it. <laughs> that was not it. No. Uh, did you? I, someone told me you brought a joke. And you had to write it down. I did because I, I didn't want to screw Luckily, it up. Luckily, I cannot read your writing. <laughs> right, right. I think it starts with who, but All it, right. it might be something It's else. actually what. What? Okay. What is the least spoken language in the whole world? I don't know. I'm sure you know it. I don't know. Sign language. Very good. I, I wonder if they say they're speaking, though. I, or I, what? Uh, yeah. Actually, what That's language a, do they speak? American Sign Language is the only thing American I've heard. American Sign Language? Okay. Uh, here. Okay. So we don't know any of this stuff. I brought a joke. We don't get out much. I brought a joke. Um, I saw you had hands on the special. Down? I didn't write it down, okay. so I'm going to do my best to remember it. 
how do pigs keep their feet clean? I'm not sure. The correct answer is ham sanitizer. See, ham sanitizer. I'm looking at the camera. Okay. However, I've heard another option. Okay. Hogwash. Hogwash. And I yeah, thought that might actually be better. There you go. Might actually be better. <laughs> um, you have the specials in front of you. We do. And I will change the things underneath our, 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 okay. our lovely Still faces here. here. Uh, if I can find the right buttons. Okay. Uh, is, why don't you start with whatever you're going to start with. All right. Uh, let's do bone and hams. Okay. So this is a ham that has a bone in it. Correct. All right. Very self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, probably um, good for Easter. Great for Easter. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, very traditional for um, a lot of families. Are these the hams we saw in the nets in the smokehouse? Correct. They have a bone in right. them. They definitely do. Uh, okay. Yes. Definitely yes. do. Um, so we just netted them yesterday, actually, and we're smoking them as we speak. Um, so they will be done today, and they will be ready for pickup tomorrow. If, for those who did not order a ham, um, we are we do have walk-in hams available, um, bone-in and boneless, starting okay, tomorrow. Okay, so Thursday. last week you were smoking hams. You're smoking hams all the time. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't so know what kind of and, operation and, you think we are? But apparently, you know. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, a smoky operation. Correct. Four ninety-nine a pound is a great price. Yes. But that includes the weight of the bone. Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, we were going to take out for the bone, but then we did. I bet you have a bonus. Something. We do. Okay. We do. A boneless pit ham, actually. Pit ham. Next. Moving right along. Six ninety nine a pound for the boneless pit ham. Now, what is a pit ham? It's a it's a pit smoked ham. So oh. I think it was traditionally um, smoked in a pit. That's how it got its name. Correct. So Correct. this is the ham, uh, the the pork that you eat when you go to Hawaii, and they say, sure smoke it in the in the ground. In the pit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. We can is, call it that. Is this also when I go to your meat counter and ask for a half a pound of the sliced pit ham? Is that yes. the pit ham? Yes. Okay, that's it's the very exactly same the pit ham. Yes. This is good stuff. It's great. I stuff. like this. Yes. Stuff. It's great on a sandwich um, year round. Um, for Easter, a lot of people order it. Um, we can slice it and tie it for you. Um, a lot of people ask about sli spiral sliced. Um, this is great. I love it because you know you're the family's around you. Everybody's watching you. Um, carve the ham and stuff like that and you get a little nervous and you know it's just like cutting cheese you know it's sometimes it's this thick on one side and then this thin on the other side. But you could take so all that away? We can. You can yes. solve that? Yes. But you said uh, slice it and tie it. Correct. Help me with that. So, I know it's slicing it. Correct. Correct. So we so we slice it and then we tie it so that it cooks as one piece of meat. So, okay, so it, looks, it, it looks like a perfect okay. perfectly shaped ham and everything like that and then all the you have to do. String. Correct. Butcher string. Yes. Butcher string. Yes. Vocabulary. Official. Yes. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so it cooks as one piece of meat, and all you have to do when you're done is just cut the string, and then they mm -hmm. can take one piece or two pieces. Or, it ah, doesn't fall apart like doesn't that. Doesn't fall apart. No, it doesn't. But is this spiral cut? No, it's just it's cut all the way through. Cut all the way cut through. Cut all yes. the way through. Yes. That, that's a good price too. Six ninety nine. Yeah. Yes. So I think I pay more for my sandwich meat when it's not on you special. Can. Uh, moving right along. Yes. Uh, some fresh domestic lamb legs. Domestic. Uh, yes. You mean they were pets? Uh, no, they were not domesticated. Oh, oh, there's a difference there. Huh? <laughs> correct, correct. Domestic, domestic means, means the United States. Raised. United States. So correct. they're they're not Australian, not New Zealand. Uh, okay, okay. Not uh, they're, Thailand. Okay. Why don't we call them domestic? Okay, that's a domestic, good word yes, for it. Yes. Twelve ninety nine a pound for the bone in, and thirteen ninety nine a pound for the boneless. So there's an extra charge to get the bone out. Correct. Do I want the bone in? Or well, because you're not paying for the bone as well. True. True. Plus, I don't and have to. Last time I checked, you can't eat the bone. Can you do the soup thing with it? The sure. Stuff? Okay. Sure. Okay. So maybe you want the bone. Once you buy it, we don't really care don't what care. you do with it. Are you sure? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I think I'd go with boneless. Okay. Personally, because I wouldn't have a use for the for the bone. Right. So I would you throw it out the window. Now do these come already in, as a leg. I have to. If I wanted a, a small one, what's the smallest leg I could get? Smallest leg you can get um, is probably like a three pound or four pound piece. Okay. Um, the and biggest that one serve... is probably about eight pounds. Um, it's usually about half to three quarters of a pound per person. Okay, or a pound if you're or a pound hungry you're or generous, right? Or both, right? Okay, um, that's good stuff. Yes, uh, we might have to talk after the show. We do have some mint jelly uh, as well for a great um, like on the side. shelves. Correct. So this is what I'm saying. You're not just a meat market. You're right. a, you're a grocer as well. Full service. Full Ish. practically full service. <laughs> Where are we going? Thank you for adding practically. <laughs> uh, next we have uh, Jacob's own Weisswurst uh, oh, for five forty nine pound Weisswurst. <laughs> Is the official well, how do we pronunciation? Say we say Weisswurst. 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 Yes. 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 Uh, but um, uh, it's Weisswurst if you're going to say it in Germany. Right. And is it is it German Weisswurst? It is definitely. It is? Oh. Yes. It's made with uh, veal and pork, um, and it's fully cooked. A lot of people um, traditionally eat it in breakfast at the breakfast time, um, and they're, they're since they're fully cooked, all you do is just brown it on both sides, and then dip it in like a brown mustard, or you suggested a sweet mustard. 
A sweet mustard is what I ate it with in Bavaria. Sure. And uh, browning them both sides. Uh, the way I do it is I uh, boil water in a pot and then turn it off the water and put the sausages in there for five minutes and then they heat all the way through. Sure. Uh, and that's the way they did it in Bavaria. Sure. Uh, but browning it I've never tried and I'm going to try that. You should oughta. I should oughta. And this is one of my favorite sausages. Yes. You have that all the time. Uh, so we make it traditionally at Christmas and Easter. Okay. So it's a, it's a Christmas sausage and an Easter sausage is what we typically call it. Uh, but we do make it throughout the year. Um, we also have it in the freezer typically. In the freezer. Yep. And it, it, it does well for all of them. Yes, yeah, definitely. Especially because these are fully cooked. Right. In Bavaria, you won't eat it after 12 noon. Correct. Because, you know why? No. <laughs> Tell me why, Because Eric. it they started serving that before refrigeration. And they knew something was going bad with it after 12 noon. And to this day, people won't eat it after 12 noon. Wow. Except sometimes I do. Except for <laughs> me. It's really good. Except for me it's when really I just sneak one. Yeah, yeah I like it. Where well, are we let's going? Let's talk about that. All right, so uh, next we have kielbasa. Uh, Jacob's own kielbasa, four ninety nine a pound. We have plain and smoked. Okay, I have a question about Jacob's own. Does that mean you make it here? We do make it so here. So anything yes. that says Jacob's own is made correct right back there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Right back over there. Right back over there. Yes. In the great beyond. The wall. Yes. Um, Maybe I, someday we'll take a tour of that. That'd be a great idea. And this is relatively new. Yeah. The whole back end. Relatively. Yeah, yes. Relatively. Yes. Uh, not since nineteen forty five. Right. So correct. <laughs> In the big scheme of things. Relatively, yes. Uh, bef uh, let's move on from kielbasa for just a moment and talk about the next one. Yeah, the next one is uh, fresh Polish sausage. It's uh, 4 dollars a pound. Um, it's, uh, the, the fresh Polish is um, shaped like a bratwurst. Um, and I think okay. the next question is going to be what's the difference between kielbasa. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. And oh, I won't. Go ahead. Go ahead. But kielbasa's got a different shape. Correct. It's more of a horseshoe. No. No. It's a straight. Oh, is it straight? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's like... <laughs> It's like an Italian sausage size. Okay. Um, so it's like twice the length of a bratwurst. Um, and, and the no fresh curve Polish. To it. Correct. Okay. Um, and the fresh Polish is. <laughs> We're live here, giggle. Eric. Don't come on. <laughs> I was doing fine. Okay. So the uh, the fresh Polish is more like a bratwurst size. No, I'm not. Maybe we <laughs> maybe we should no, be we're able. No, fine. We're fine. People like right to back. see this. People like to see this. <laughs> My main question is, I think kielbasa means sausage, like versed means sausage. So okay. what is the difference the between a, yeah. Oh, okay. In, Pol in, Polish, in Polish, for the Polish people of Poland. Kielbasa, what's the difference between a <laughs> Polish people of Poland? As, to, as opposed to the Polish people of Manasha or? <laughs> They're all over. Correct. They're all over. Uh, fresh Polish sausage and kielbasa, there must be a difference. Yes. What yes, is the there difference? is a difference. Um, so the. The difference between Besides the fresh size. Polish and <laughs> between the fresh Polish and the fresh kielbasa, the fresh Polish um, is made with marjoram, not margarine. Marjoram. Correct. So that's um, an herb. Correct. Correct. It is. Um, and the uh, the fresh kielbasa is made with garlic. Not a huge difference, but um, the the so we take the fresh kielbasa and then we smoke it and then it's called smoked kielbasa. Okay. However, we do not take the fresh Polish and smoke it and call it smoked Polish. There's okay. a different. There's a difference. Um, and the, the fresh kielbasa has uh, mainly pork. There's a little bit of beef in there. And the fresh, um, fresh uh, Polish is mainly pork as well. So I have to try both. I would. And uh, how much, how do you smoke it? In the smokehouse? In the smokehouse, yes. So when you get smoke something like a sausage in the smokehouse, how smoky does it? Oftentimes, I have found they add smoke flavoring. Right. And that's a little strong for me, but Correct. I'll bet yours is better. It definitely is, Because it's is, yes. natural. Right, right. So I'm going to have to try all of this. So typically, a smoked product as well um, is fully cooked. So all you're doing is just heating it through, such as a smoked ham, a smoked kielbasa, um, a smoked Polish. Um, so that, I mean, that's, that's a great advantage, so you don't have to worry about undercooking it at all. Fantastic. And these specials are on right now, aren't they? Correct. Yes. So through Saturday at Stand four. back, everybody. Right. <laughs> through Saturday. Now through Saturday, while supplies last. Correct. Because Thank you. Because you might not have any polar sausages by the time I leave here right. today. Right. Uh, anything else on the, on, on the special? I, I think that's it. Okay. Then we'll just put that aside. And okay. I have an announcement to make. And the announcement is, last week, ladies and gentlemen, I lied to you. 
not really on purpose, but I did lie because something has changed. Last you were maybe week, given false information. Last week I said that the last day to order your holiday hams and lambs was today, okay. April 5th, but that has changed. We're just going to glance over our shoulders. See, oh, it was him, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, Kevin. <laughs> there are no more orders, right? Correct. Because Correct. you're full up on orders. Correct. However, there are hams and lambs still available. Correct. Correct. Explain to people how they can get one. So the bone-in hams are, again, going to be available tomorrow, starting tomorrow, Thursday, um, for walk-ins. Not come today. In. Correct. Not today. If Wednesday. I ordered one for today? Then you can still pick it up. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Um, so, uh, so they're going to be available tomorrow um, because they are cooking today, and then they cool today, and then they're going to be ready tomorrow So tomorrow, morning. if I didn't order one and I want a ham, I can come tomorrow? Correct. Yep. Exactly. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, so I can't get one today. Okay. I'll be you back can tomorrow. look at them. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, was there anything else except that I lied and I do apologize for that? I think that. I, I will try it. not to do that in the future. Did you bring somebody for a local product this week? I didn't bring somebody, but I asked somebody to you come in. You asked somebody to come yes. in? Did they yes. show up? They did. They yes. did show up. Yes. I think you're talking about uh, local product of the week is something that you carry in the store and that is manufactured, made locally. In Appleton, and yes. This one is actually in Appleton, and yes. we're talking about Dalaterra Pasta. Correct. Uh, which many people are familiar with because it is the best pasta. Uh, speaking of pasta, speaking of pasta. Is this another joke? <laughs> where does spaghetti go to dance? I'm not sure. The meatball, of course. The meatball. The oh, meatball. Okay. Uh, so you have Liam and Kathara Connolly, husband and wife team of Appleton's own Della Dalla, Dalla Terra Pasta, and they're here. So I'm going to put us on be right back, and I'm going to give you my microphone so that you can talk to them in front of this camera. Perfect. Sound like a plan? Sounds great. We'll be right back. We're back. This isn't Luke and Eric either. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, welcome, uh, uh, Kathara and Liam, to Jacob's Meat Market. Um, I'm, it, it's great to have you guys here. Um, can you tell me how you guys uh, started making pasta? In, sure. and And where, maybe? Yeah, hey, absolutely. So we make everything right here in Appleton. Uh, so my wife and I have been making pasta full time uh, since 2020. But the company was started by my mom right here in Appleton in 2009. She lived just down the road here. Okay. Uh, so my mom started, she really wanted to connect with the community to make a food product to sell at the farmer's market. So she decided on pasta and yeah, it's been taken off since then. So what makes the pasta unique is she really wanted to source local ingredients. So our pasta is made with flour and water and then sourced with uh, local spinach, beets, and peppers, so that goes into the pasta to flavor it. Okay. So that really makes a uh, unique and flavorful dish to eat. Okay. <laughs> Did it take you a long time, Kathara, to um, catch on to that, or was was it a family <laughs> tradition that's that's passed down to, to you guys, and you had to learn it, and you were just immersed with it, or sure. how was that? I guess I kind of came in more in like 2018 and 19, um, when I, I started dating you. Um, back in 2016, you first told me that your family had this pasta business, and and that didn't um, scare you away? No, okay. no, it was it was really cool to see what they did and you know everything. And um, we took over the company in 2020 um, full time. So you had helped out at farmers markets and stuff when you were in high school. So you kind of you know knew the process and stuff. And so we took it over together in 2020. Okay. And where do you guys sell your products? Uh, we sell uh, to local specialty stores around the area. So Jacobs has been a longtime supporter. 
and sell our other products, so we appreciate that partnership. Yeah. Um, in addition to Jacobs, locally around here, we sell to the Free Market, um, Olive Cellar, Simon's Cheese, Breadsmith, and the Meat Block. And then uh, past Appleton, we sell to stores around Wisconsin. So um, Sendix in Milwaukee is one of our big ones. Wow. And then we have a full list of locations on our website. Um, we also have a small online retail store where we uh, ship to the United States. Okay, so. okay. And you also sell to the farmer's market in the summertime? We do. Yeah. Okay, do. just the Appleton one? Or do you, do you go to other ones as well? or? Just the Appleton one right now. We've, we've been at other ones in past years, but the Appleton has been every single year consistently. Okay. Okay, and do you too go to the farmers markets, or do you have people that go there, or what do you? Yep, it's usually us too. Okay. Otherwise, you might see my dad or my brother working too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And how many different varieties do you guys make? Sure. So we make over twenty different varieties of wow. pasta and the different shapes and the flavors. Um, Jacobs has um, a lot of our tagli tagliatelle flavors, so it's like a fettuccine cut, um, tomato basil, spinach, garlic, sea salt, herb. Um, and I'm trying to think tomato basil and then we do some shaped pasta too like our veggies and herb shapes uh, that's a combination of like different herbs and produce okay them. how do you make the shapes I, I I've never made pasta before honestly so I don't know how how one makes pasta yeah, sure. you can mix a batter and you just they just come out it's as easy as that yeah. <laughs> yes yes so do you have a press that you how do you how do you make the shapes the we different do. shapes? Yeah, so the press is called an extruder. So okay. we use traditional Italian equipment and uh, methods to make it. So the extruder, uh, you know, we mix the dough and all the flavors together, and the extruder will push it through bronze dies, and that's traditionally how they're made. So they're pushed through, you know, different shapes, and then they're cut to length. So okay. That makes your fusilli or your cannaroni radiatori, all okay. the different fun shapes like that. Okay. And then the dough is, is flour and water, so we don't use um, eggs. In okay. Dough. So they're okay. vegan friendly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, have you uh, come up with new um, new ideas uh, lately these past couple of years, or or I don't know how the how the uh, the noodle company works. So I'm just curious what how you how you develop different flavors and what what you've uh, what you've come up with the last couple of years. Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, last year our employee Paul kind of helped us make this new product that's called Garden Rainbow Fusilli. So okay. it's got our normal flavors that we have in our pot and our veggies and herb shapes. And then it's got a couple new ones, like a saffron and then a butterfly pea flower. So it's in our fusilli, um, kind of like a spiral shape. And then all the flavors of the rainbow. So it's really nice in the summer to make a, like a cold pasta salad with that. Okay. Um, so that was new as of last year. Okay. And I see you guys brought something along with you. Can, can, you, tell us, can you tell us what it is? Yeah. So this is our veggies and herb shapes. Um, we've got... Our fusilli, radiatori, um, kasaraki, um, cannaroni. How, it's it's very, very yeah. colorful. Is that, how, what makes it the colors, the different colors? So our unique Again, process Again, I'm a that, very novice at the <laughs> pasta, so. Yeah, um, is that we don't use any powders um, or preservatives. That's how typically you see colored pasta in the grocery store is like powdered spinach. Okay. We source all of our produce locally and organically wherever we can. Um, so local organic spinach is what goes in here and we pack as much as we possibly can in so it gives it a nice vibrant color and that wow. flavor as well. Yeah, those, um, those also, colors really pop. It's also a lot more time intensive to do it this way. So sure. that's why you typically see powders um, used or you know, even unflavored pasta, but this is really simple. If you just put an olive oil and Parmesan cheese with it, it cooks up in about half the time okay. as normal grocery store pasta because uh, we dry it at low temperatures over several days. Okay. So it maintains the texture and the nutrients. Okay, um, perfect. From the produce and everything. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, yeah. And you guys brought six bags along. We did. Yes. For the, so the next six customers that walk through the door that ask for some pasta, um, we will definitely give them uh, a bag of your your best pasta here. Um, any other anything else you'd like to add today? I don't think so. You gotta get you guys have to get down here and get a free bag of pasta. Okay. All right. Thank you guys very much for coming. Um, we 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 love to um, sponsor local um, local companies, and uh, thank you guys very much for coming down and telling more about your story and about your your products. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right back.
pushed the wrong button. And look, our names and are we're there back. Too. Our names are there it's the too. The right ones too. That was a great interview. Thank you. And I, I have had this pasta. I love this pasta. So everyone should get down here, pick up your copy of the Appleton Magazine, and buy all of the pasta. Right. Uh, well, get your free pasta first, if there's any left. Oh yes. How do you do that again? You just walk uh, in. Just and walk say, in and say, "Give me some pasta." Give me some pasta. Yeah. yeah. Give me some pasta. <laughs> and they'll get a free. Well, you got six. This is bags. a live show. Did you know You'll that? Get, I didn't know that. <laughs> You'll get, you have six bags. When they're yeah. gone, they're gone. Correct. Where was I going? I thought of another joke while you were doing that interview. <laughs> oh, great. Which pasta, what pasta can make all your wishes come true? Dalatera pasta? Fettuccine. <laughs> Fettuccine. Uh, last week I mentioned take a walk in the park day. Yes. Did you take a walk in the park? I drove by a Did park. Did you go flag? I, I went. <laughs> this week, you know what we have this week? Tomorrow, as a matter of fact, tomorrow, April 6th, National Burrito Day. Are you doing anything to celebrate National Burrito Day, Mr. Lou Jacobs? Am I doing anything? Yes, it's Jacobs it's, Meat Market. Oh, 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 of course. I think we have, uh, for hot lunch, we have our burrito. We have a beef, beef burrito, burrito yes. for hot lunch, and it comes with a side of something refried beans Re and <laughs> Mexican, Mexican street, street corn. corn. Oh, That's boy. why it's on the paper. Oh, was I supposed to look down there? No, no, you're supposed to look at the camera. Okay. Uh, so that's tomorrow, and I will be here. I okay. want that burrito. And okay. of course, this Sunday is get here early. Easter Sunday. Correct. I'll get here early. When do you serve lunch? It's usually Monday through Friday, but you're not serving anybody this Friday, are you? No. No, no, no lunch this Thank Friday. Thank you. Thanks for reminding and me. No lunch next Monday either. Correct. So that's Correct. Your We're half open day. noon to six. Yes. Noon to Correct. six. Correct. But so generally, generally speaking. Typically, Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. 11 to 2. Central time. While supplies last. Correct. While supplies mm -hmm. last. Very good. We had a giveaway last week of a pound of bacon, and you wanted people to comment on the video from last week with the dad joke. Have Correct. you selected a winner? I have. Take it away, Luke. Uh, randomly, I selected uh, Kim Kafura. Kim, congratulations, Kim. How did Kim pick up this pound of bacon? Well, he can come on down. Um, he's probably picking up a ham this week. Oh. I think so I saw his name on a ham. Add some bacon to that. Yeah, well, that's a whole uh, pound of bacon. Yeah, that's a different part of the pig. We, you know, what we have to show the people is how you slice the bacon. Ham sanitizer, <laughs> hogwash. What was the joke that, that uh, was submitted? Now, the, it, this was not selected based on the quality of the joke. It was <laughs> obviously all not. you had. All you had to do was give a joke. Correct. So, what was the joke? So this is what I actually texted you yesterday, and then when I picked it today, I said, Eric, this is the exact joke that I texted you yesterday. Oh. How does the moon cut his hair? I remember this. How does the moon cut his hair? Well, you already know, so you might as well just say Eclipse it. it. Eclipse it. Eclipse Correct. it. Eclipse it. Correct. I thought that was good. So yeah, that was pretty good. Kim. That's Kim. Congratulations, Kim. Come get your pound of bacon when you pick up your ham. Correct. Is there a time limit on this? You must pick it up within... 20 minutes? Years? 20 minutes. There 20 you go. Minutes. This week is another contest, but it's, it's special. It's it is. It's special because you're giving it's something amazing away. What Correct. are you giving away, Mr. Jacobs? Uh, Tell we are, the camera. We are giving away um, a bone-in ham from Jacobs oh, Meat Market. That's I have an Easter ham. Cost, so an Easter it's ham. only Easter Correct. ham if you eat it on Easter, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Or the day before. Easter week, maybe. Or Easter Monday. East, or Easter Monday. Easter Correct. Monday. So it's an Easter ham. Right. It's an Easter ham. Right. A bone-in Easter ham, uh, but time is of the essence on this one. Correct. Correct. How do you enter? So to enter... Um, you put in the comments down below uh, what your favorite Easter tradition is. Yours is, as we all know, hiding Easter baskets. Correct. Like a whole basket Correct. to hide yeah. that. Yeah, it could be um, hiding Easter baskets. It could be going to Easter service with, with Grandma or Grandpa or um, going over to Aunt Ginny's house or... Whatever it is. Correct. Whatever it is. Correct. I could go on and going on. Going to Jacob's Meat Market right. to pick up my Easter yes, hand. Yes, waiting in line. Yes. Uh, and you can put this comment either here in YouTube Correct. or on the Facebook. shared link in Facebook. Correct. Yep. Uh, but time is of the essence because you're going to choose a quick a winner quickly. <clears throat> right. Tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon. Ish. Ish. It's, you're doing it, so yes. it's noon-ish. Right. Tomorrow, Thursday at noon, you'll pick a winner, and you will reply to their comment to say congratulations, you've won. How does that sound? Sounds great. Okay, so if you leave a comment, <clears throat> see if he replies to you tomorrow at noon-ish. But only leave a comment if you can be here be by here. Friday at 5.30 to pick up your hand. You have to pick Otherwise, up Otherwise, I will have to choose somebody else. Okay. So comment below, either YouTube or Facebook. You'll pick a winner tomorrow noonish, which is Thursday, and reply to the winner's comment. Correct. And then the winner has until 5.30 p.m. on Friday to present him or herself here at Jacob's Meat Market. Right. Where is that? Photo ID. Photo, Photo ID. ID. Yes, yes. 
What is our address? <clears throat> That's fantastic. Can I enter? Sure. You would Many will me. enter a few. I'll have to use one that one. pseudonym. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, uh, at 544 North Law Street in Appleton, on the corner of Law and Pacific. And Law this Friday, Wayne. you're open till 6. We are, yes. Yeah, it's Saturday. Yes. That's, it's that's not a just, trick. We're only until trick. 5, and they show up at 5.30, yes. I wouldn't put it past them. Correct. Wouldn't put it past them. I think that's From it. From BSTV. Did you have something else? I don't. I don't. Are we going to do this again next week? Let's do it. Yeah. There's your cue. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Uh, Central Time with a live broadcast. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And come and visit us at the store, like I said, at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 6. And this week, Monday, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, Saturday, 8 to 4. And, and then next Monday, week. Monday, noon to 6. Monday, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to. Do you have that listed somewhere? It's probably on our website. <laughs> it's probably somewhere. on the website. Yeah. Um, Thank yeah, you very much for watching. for watching. Appreciate it. So uh, we'll see you next week. Yes. We'll have see you a next great week. Easter. Bye.